The cholera outbreak in Nigeria seems to be worsening, with more persons reported to have died of the disease. In Katsina State, 75 persons have been confirmed dead out of 1,534 confirmed cases so far recorded. This latest death toll follows a warning by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, urging state governments to step up their gains in combating the outbreak. Correspondent Abdul Latif Yusuf reports. The outbreak was first confirmed on Sunday by the State Ministry of Health with a death toll of close to 60. This has raised a lot of concern among residents over the quick pace at which the disease was spreading and they wanted to know the measures the government was taking to address it in the face of the ongoing strike in some government hospitals. The first report of suspected diarrhea and vomiting from 5th May 2021 in Funtua. As at 8th August 2021, a total of 1,534 cases, including 75 deaths, have been reported from 25 local governments across the state. Of the reported cases, 67% are aged 15 years. The outbreak of cholera has been an annual occurrence, especially in areas where potable water is difficult to get. There have been rigorous campaigns on the need to stop open defecation to avoid contamination of ponds. The number of confirmed cases are likely to rise, so as long the people will still have to depend on untreated water sources. Already, 25 out of the 34 local governments in the state have been affected. The state government, on its part, has purchased drugs and deployed personnel to reach out to the affected areas. Funtua local government had the record of highest number of cases with 384, followed by Sabwa, who recorded 232, Kafur 215, Cherenchi 135, Kankara 71, and Jibia with 69 cases. In terms of mortality, Funtua also leads with 18, followed by Cherenchi, who recorded 14 deaths, Jibia 11, Kankara 5, Sabwa and Rimi having 4 each. The available records of these cases indicate 67% fall within the age bracket of 15 years and above, and the majority of them are male. Insecurity is another challenge that has prevented health personnel from getting into remote villages where the cases are still on the rise. Abdul Latif Yusuf, TVC News.